My name is Justin, and welcome back to Pisces Printing. On today's episode, um, we'll be doing the channel's favorite topic, which would be the 3D printed speakers. Um, this time the speaker is a little different though, because it was printed on a resin based printer versus a um, FDM based printer. So, we will take a look at the speaker and then get to some of the playing of the speaker. Okay, and something else I've kind of done with this speaker is I've made it since this is an actual bolt. This bottom piece here that actually is the holder for this bolt, I've threaded it. So you can actually adjust the depth of the pole to fine tune kind of the um, motor. So as you can see, as this goes in, the kind of sounds of it will change a bit. Alright, and on the topic of the speakers, we have the resin-based 3D printed speaker, which is a lot more compact and um, smaller than the previous versions of the speaker due to the fact that the resin printers are so much more precise and you can get so much thinner on walls. So some of the stuff that I've done is I've actually reduced the moving mass, the actual um, coil and surrounds and cone. And then I also added a pole and then two plates. And I went with a 3 8 bolt and then the plates are um, 5 8 washers, which seem to be the perfect size for all of this. Um, I did this so that way if I ever post up the files, which if anybody wants the files, I'll be glad to post them up. But that way you can go to your local hardware store by everything you need to do to do this. It's not special machined poles and they're not special machined plates. And then the magnets in it are just standard neodymium magnets. They're something like, I think eight millimeters in diameter or something, five millimeters in diameter. But um, as a comparison, here is this speaker versus the version one speaker, which as you can see, there is a huge difference in the size of everything except for the height which I could have gone smaller but then my coil would have been wider and I wanted to stick the coil as narrow as possible so yeah well okay well that's about all I have for you guys today um 
If there's anything you'd like to see in future videos, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I'd be willing to try all kinds of different projects if that's what the audience is interested in. Um, but yeah, uh, if you liked what you've seen today, please subscribe. Um, if you like the content in this video, please like it. Um, yeah, and we're almost at 25 subscribers, which for me is a really big milestone. So, a quarter of 100. Hopefully we get there soon. Alright, thanks guys. Have a good one.